The coal industry, some say it's dead, but it's not. It produces 39% of America's electricity, but the Obama administration is determined to cut that figure drastically through a lot tougher regulations. And those new regs have exacted a very high price so far from the coal business that many are now on life support. So what is next? John Pippi is the CEO of the Pennsylvania Coal Alliance and a former state senator. And Tom Borelli is a senior fellow at Freedom Works. Gentlemen, thank you. John, first to you, is it just the EPA uh, that is making life so tough for the coal industry? Well, I, th I think you have three critical issues right now. We have the cyclic competition uh, from natural gas. Uh, we have a, a down economy. But worst and, and most uh, pressing right now are the concerns from the EPA. If these EPA regulations are as adopted as written by the EPA here in Pennsylvania, uh, we'll see a 70% reduction in coal power generation uh, cap capacity. Uh, that would be billions of dollars of economic impact. Yeah, tremendous, wow. tremendous negative consequences. For, forgive me for interrupting, John, but what we're looking at right now are the prices, the, the market cap prices of some of the big coal companies. 97% down, Walter. Uh, Arch Coal down 94%. Alpha also 94%. Tom, as I said, 39% of our electricity comes here. But you look at what's happening. Some of these companies are not going to make it. Is there enough natural gas to pick up the slack if they don't? Well, first of all, President Obama is fundamentally transforming the way we're going to make electricity in the United States. You saw the horrendous drop in market capitalization of the coal stocks. What's happening now is they're going to have to rapidly shift to natural gas. That takes time. That takes but they money. they don't have time. That's the question. If, in right. fact, some of right. these companies go under, and, and, you know, when you lose 97 percent of your market cap, you're close. If they go under, is there enough natural gas to pick up the slack? Well, there's plenty of natural gas. Right but away. Not, well, you've got to get the pipes to the utilities. There's a lot of what's going on. You have to also, it's going to cost the consumers a lot of money. Obama originally, remember, he said he wanted to... Uh, make electricity prices skyrocket. And if utilities wanted to use coal, they would likely go bankrupt. He's following through on that. This is fundamental transformation. John, what are you arguing in court? Uh, the EPA has its own authority to do things. Clearly, they're using that authority to, to, to try to kill off the coal industry, I would say. What are you trying to argue in court in your favor? Well, I think there's a very fundamental argument that uh, the EPA already regulates the current coal-fired power generation units under 112. And, they're, and they realize they, they can't get that changed. So they're trying to do an end around with 111D. So there's a very clear case that it's almost double regulation. It, it exceeds the boundaries of what EPA is allowed to legally do. And there is also an argument to be made that even within the regulation being proposed itself, it, it, it is not achievable. Well, pulling back, because I don't, you know, I don't want to get too much into the, the weeds of the law here, right. Tom, but the fact is uh, Congress has, has some interests here. I mean, Congress has constituents who are in coal communities, even Democrats. It's not just a Republican issue. What can Congress do to hold back the EPA right now? Well, con Congress hasn't been doing enough, that's for sure. Uh, they have not been doing enough. They could, should withhold money for the EPA to carry out these regulations. Remember, has anybody suggested they may do that to, that no, to, to a lot of Mitch, even Mitch, Republicans? Mitch, that sounds Mitch too McConnell, drastic. Mitch McConnell is afraid of shutting down the government. Remember that old line. Right. But he's, what Mitch McConnell is saying, he's telling the states to rebel against the EPA, not to submit the plans to the EPA as the best way to stop this this effort that the EPA is involved in. 50,000 coal mining coal jobs have been lost within the industry. And if this rule goes through, this is the greenhouse gas rule that they're arguing today, it's going to add another $300 billion in cost to the economy. John Pippi, Tom Borelli, gentlemen, thank you very much.